Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Gabriela. How are you? Very fine. And you? I'm just fine, just fine. How's everything? Tell me. Yeah, I'm tired. This day was a long, long day. Oh, really? Yeah. What did you do today? Tell me. Well, I start to work at 9 a.m. Okay. And finish at 6 p.m. So, uh, take me almost two hours to uh, get to my home. As you say. Almost two hours? Yeah, because I wait almost 40 minutes for take a bus. Oh, really? Only 40 minutes to take a bus? Yeah. Yeah, it was a lot. Yeah, really, really long. But, okay, hey, what's a good day? Long, but good. Yeah, well, that's a good attitude, you know, and we can say that it was a long day, but a good one, that's nice. Yeah, because I sell, a, I sell a lot. I sold. I sold a lot. Oh, so, really? That's nice. Uh, uh, I'm a step. ¿Cómo sería decir? Estoy a un paso más cerca de mi meta. I am, I am just one step uh -huh. to reach my goal. Yeah. So I think I need to work tomorrow. But tomorrow is my day off. Mm. Yeah, but you're going to get your goal pretty soon. I mean, it's for the end of the month, right? Yeah. And I need to sell. Hmm. But it's not that much. What you are missing? Well, I'm close about um, los 800 y necesito llegar a 1500. Okay, well, it's something that you can do in the rest of the month. Yeah, but I don't have uh, the time. <laughs> Let's hope. Let's hope you can time. make it. I need more time. Let's hope you can make it. Be positive. Well, I, I try every day. Yeah, be positive. Be positive. Yeah. Uh, hi, Bumps. <laughs> yeah, that's, I mean, the most important thing is to be positive. The rest, step by step, you're going to make it. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry for missing the last class. Mm, yeah. Tell me about it. I was looking for you and you weren't here. It's, I'm sorry. <laughs> I need to do uh, another stuff. And when I see, the time was gone. What's it, idea? Yep. Okay. When I realized mm -hmm. time was over. <sighs> but I said my, my boyfriend is the one and the last time. Yeah, but you know that happens. That happens. Ah, but I need to learn. To learn so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me just a second. Give me just a second. Take your time. Thank you.
Just checking a little something, you know. Um, I'm checking. Let's see, let's see, let's see. <clears throat> bueno, yo digo que ya está. Hmm. Just checking it as something that I'm registering at the university. Well, but we will see, we will see how everything goes. Okay. So, well, Gabriela, thank you very much. Nice having you here. Thank you, teacher. It's a pleasure. No, no, the pleasure is mine. Let's see who else is around. Uh, 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 um, Braulio, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Yeah. Hi. Little bit tighter. Un poquito mojado. I'm fine. Oh, really? Is it, it was raining? Estaba lloviendo? Yes. Mucho. A lot. Yes. A lot. Mucho, you gotta yes. say a lot. A lot. Yes, a lot. Oh, really? Well, yeah, I was in San Salvador and it was terrible. In, in San Salvador. Yeah, it was raining terrible. It was horrible. What? It was terrible. En español, profe, ahí sí no lo entendí. Estaba terrible. Yes, yes. Pero, pero ya, yes, in my house. Okay, well, that's nice, that's nice. Excellent. So good to have you here. Qué bueno tenerlo por acá. Yes. Thank you, teacher. No, thanks to you and welcome. Thank you, teacher. How are you? I am just fine, just fine. Oh, okay. Okay, okay well. Thank you, Braulio, and welcome. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see who else is around. Hey, Brian. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Brian. How are you? Um, very well. Great, great. Excellent. How was your day? Lo mismo de siempre, como se puede decir. Same routine. The same routine, the same routine. The same routine. Well, actually, you know, you can say it like this. Usted podría decirlo de esta manera. Same old story. Like this. No, I'm just going to show you more solo there. 
Storm of Wounds. You can say it like that, same old story. Say old. Same old story. Say old story. Okay. Yeah, well, you know, that's that's life. I mean, yeah, sometimes days are just routine. Sometimes there you have you encounter more activities to do. And what can we do? I mean, that's the way it goes. That's uh, the way it goes. That phrase means, esa frase significa, mm, así pasa, así nos toca. That's the way we say it. Así lo decimos nosotros. Así nos toca. That's the... That's the way it goes. Okay. It goes. First. Yeah, that's the way it goes. What can we do? I mean... ¿Qué le vamos a hacer, right? Exacto. I mean, that's, that's life for us. Es la vida nuestra. We have to face it up. Hay que afrontarla. But it's nice to have you here. And tell me, how was the weekend? What did you do? Something special? Algo especial during the weekend? ¿Cómo? Something special during the weekend? Eh, no le entiendo lo, lo último. Something special during the weekend. Algo especial en el fin de semana. No. Oh, bueno, bueno, sí. Eh, ¿Cómo se puede decir? ¿Qué pasó el fin de semana con, con mi pareja? Oh, that's nice. That's nice. I spend my weekend with my partner. That's always good. Eso siempre es bueno. And to spend time with people we care for, it's very important. Oh, look at this phrase. Uh -huh. Spending time with people we care for. Spending time with people we care for is very important. Pasar tiempo con personas que nos importan. It's very important. When you care for, cuando usted care for. Te tiro agua. When you care for, cuando usted es acción, care for, está diciendo que le preocupa o le importa algo o alguien. Yeah. Okay, Katia, can you hear me now? No, oh, no, she's gone. She's fighting with the connection, I guess. Okay, well, welcome, Brian. Nice having you here. Qué bueno tenerlo por acá. Thank you, teacher. No, thanks to you, my friend. Now, let's see who else is around. Who más tenemos por acá? Angelica, hello. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, how are you? Very well. How was your day? Um, I'm fine. Working. Como siempre. <laughs> Working as usual. Repeat. Working as usual. As usual. And as the... usual. Usual, usually. Usual. No, 
Let me let me text it to you for you. Working as usual. Ah, okay. Working as usual. Yep. Ah, pues así me da Yeah, well, welcome to the club. Bienvenido al club. <laughs> yeah, no. yeah, I mean, that's the way it goes for us. Así nos toca. Yes. Para comer. Oops. Well, and what about the weekend? What did you do during the weekend? Please, what did you do Something different? Uh, uh, Saturday, uh, working uh, every day, todo el día, ¿verdad? Yeah, all day long. Uh, all day long. Um, desde las... Seven at six until okay. until six. Okay. And and Sunday is my day off. Oh, really? Sunday is your day off? Well, that's nice. Yes. That's actually nice because I mean. You have time to rest. Tiene ahí para descansar un poquito. Sí, aunque ni, ni tanto porque siempre salí, pero fue a, a visit family. Uh, for my birthday or my mother. Okay, okay, well, that's good, that's good, you know. Eso es bueno. Yeah. So yeah. you have a, for my mother's birthday. Yeah. Okay. Let's see, let me just check on this something. Okay, before I move on, I am checking the attendance. Let's see, let's see. We got six classes. Okay, yeah, we are fine, we are fine. I'm just checking one case. So we say no caso que no le puedo escribir ayer. Okay. Okay, perfect. Well, it's good to have you here. Welcome to the class. Thank you. Let's see who else is around. Mm -hmm. Maritza, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Very good. Um, I live tired. ¿Cómo se dice un poco cansada? A little bit tired. That's okay. Yes. Un día pesado. A heavy day. ¿Qué me dijo? A heavy day. A heavy day. I have a heavy day. Yes. Okay, well. Huh. That's the way it goes. What about the weekend? Excuse me? What about the weekend? ¿Qué tal el fin de semana? Um, excellent. Um, okay, great, great. 
why is moving with my down down there? It has oh, a watching movie, watching movies with my daughters. Watch, uh, watch movie with my daughter. Disfruto mucho el fin de semana con mis hijos. Okay, it goes like this. Seria, similar. Look, look in the chat. What? Watching movies with my daughter. Daughters, daughters. Daughters, daughters. Yep. Well, it's nice. It's nice the fact that you can share with them. Bueno, que puedo compartir con ellas. It's always good. Yes. I mean, it's very important to, to spend time with the family. It's always cool. Siempre es bueno. Welcome to the class. Nice having you here. Excuse me, no lo entiendo, teacher. Welcome having. It's nice to have you here. El bueno tenerla acá. Welcome to the class. Bienvenida. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, who else is around? Anyway. Esmeralda, good evening, how are you? Oops, perhaps Esmeralda cannot talk right now. Um, Atenas, hello. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? How was everything? I'm ¿Qué tal? Fine. ¿Cómo le ha How was the weekend for you? Um, Sunday, uh, I went to the visit the picnic because I celebrate uh, birthdays um, mother-in-law. My mother-in-law's birthday. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Okay, it's like this, look. My mother-in-law in law's birthday. Okay. Okay, nice, nice. So how was the party? Tell me. Estuvo <laughs> bien. Este, fuimos a, bueno, 18 de breakfast and we have breakfast. We have breakfast. Uh -huh. We have breakfast and ¿Cómo se dice pastel? Oh, we have cake. 
Ah, we have cake. Yes. Mm, that's nice. That's nice. Do you like cake? Do you enjoy cake? Sí. Me gustó. Yes, I did. But my question is this. Mi pregunta es, do you like cake? ¿Le gusta el cake? Your answer must be, su respuesta tiene que ser, yes, I do. Okay, yes, I do. Mm, that's nice. What's your favorite cake? Oh, my favorite cake is a uh, fruit. Uh-huh. Mm, chocolate. Oh, chocolate. Oh, I love chocolate. That's something I really love. I hope you can Okay, Danino, but again. Yeah, but you know, usually, I mean, what it's bad for your health, normalmente lo que es malo para la salud is delicious. Es correcto. Okay, well, that's nice. What else did you do? ¿Qué más hizo? Um, no recuerdo cómo se pronuncia, pero... Um, I... Help my son. No, help the. I help. I help my I son. Help my son homework. Oh, I help my son with his homework. Okay. Esa, ese enlace no encontraba cómo decirlo, pero es que una razón. Es muy... Ok, ok. Which, which uh, course is he in? ¿En qué curso está? ¿En qué grado? Um, kinder. <laughs> oh, preschool. Sí. Preschool. Brisco. No, pre, pre, P, P, R, E, hyphen, school, preschool. Preschool. Let me text it for you. Okay, sí, porque no, no. Pre. Okay, pre. Preschool, that's why I told you. P, P. P R E. Then I say hyphen hyphen es el pequeño guioncito que ponemos entre dos palabras. So if you see P R E hyphen S C H O O L preschool. Preschool. Okay, well, interesting. Quite interesting. Well, that's nice. Uh, I mean, spending time with kids, it's it's hard. Preschool is very hard. I mean, you gotta do a lot of homework, you as a parent. Sí, bastante. But it's good for kids. I mean, they they learn some some skills. They acquire some skills which are very important for them afterwards. Eh, adquieren habilidades que son importantes luego. Afterwards. Oops. Thank you very much and welcome to the class, Atenas. Thank you, teacher. Guys, let me get the, the attendance, please.
Eh, Ana Maritza Flores Cervellón. Present. Angélica Guadalupe Tobar de Melgar. Present. Braulio Enrique Hernández Sosa. Present, teacher. Brian Alexander Rivas Sánchez. Teacher, tengo mal inter. Ok, ok. I understand you, Brian. Claudia Teresa Flamenco. Elisa Saraí Martínez Ramírez. Esmeralda Lisbeth Vázquez Silva. Gabriela Guadalupe Zelaya Sayas. Present. Karen de Sirem Ingíbar de Sánchez. Catherine Beatriz Morales Calzadilla. Mm. Thank you, Brian. No problem. I got your attendance. Katy Estefanía Pineda Alvarado. Present teacher. María Teresa González de Lemos. Present teacher. Marvin Gabriel Romero Cubías. Yo tenemos. Present teacher. Thank you. Milton Antonio García Castellano. Mirna Atenas Vanega Zamora. Present. Rebeca del Carmen Morales Molina. Present teacher. Víctor Manuel Reyes Carvajal. Xiomara Chamilet Mendoza Mendoza. Eh, Lisa Saraí Martínez Ramírez. Present. Ok. Nice, nice, nice. Let's see. Oh. Hmm. Thank you, Catherine. Let's see. Who else is around? Rebecca. Hello, Rebecca. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Um, so so. So so? Yes. Why so so? I, Tell me. I have a heavy day. Oh, really? A heavy day? A lot of work? Yes. Okay. What about the weekend? Yes. How was your weekend? My weekend. Um, Saturday. Well, I work. Uh -huh. Last um, Sunday was with my daughter. Daughter? I, I went to the church. I went to church. I went to church. Laundry. <laughs> laundry. I did the laundry. I did cleaning. Mm. Wow, I, you did a lot of stuff. Mucho trabajo. Much, yes. A lot, a lot. I'm, I'm, I long, I'm a lunch chicken oh. shop. Oh, really nice. <laughs> yes, that, yes. I can, <laughs> I can. <laughs> Okay, okay, well. Clear. The good thing is that you have a, a little bit of fun, and menos to what you just said, right? <laughs> yes. You were quite busy. Mama, Let me text for you. It's like this, look. You were quite Busy. So, usted me dice, I was quite busy. Okay. Okay. Well, excellent, excellent. Nice having you here. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. No, thanks to you. Let's see. 
I still got time. As I told you the other day, today was going to be a vocabulary practice. We are going to do some exercises from the manual. You have a, uh, I send you a document, a PDF document that we are going to analyze. Tienes un bien documento que vamos a analizar. And just one of you send me the homework. Y solo uno me mandó la tarea. Hmm. I was expecting homeworks yesterday. Do you remember, guys? ¿Se acuerdan? You don't? Well, I hope you can do it and send it to me. Espero que puedan enviarme. Okay? Perfect. Excellent attendance. Because that way I can check and if I have some observations, I can send them to you. Let's see. Who else is there? Who else is there? Let's see. Oh. Elisa, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm very excellent today. Oh, really? You had a good day? That's nice. What about the weekend? How was the weekend for you? I was well the semana. I in the weekend I work. Oh work. really? I had to work to get to trabajo. Yes, teacher. Oh, you have to work. Well, complex, right? Complicadito, I imagine. But the good thing is that you are here now. Lo bueno que está acá. It's the end of the day. Mondays are hard. Los lunes son duros for everybody. Believe me, me, me waking waking up on Monday is so hard. A mí me cuesta tanto levantarme on Monday. You know, they drag me out from my feet. A mí me hacen al lado de mis pies. Otherwise, I don't get up, get off the bed. De lo contrario, no me sacan de la cama. Yeah, Mondays are hard. But welcome, Elisa. Nice having you here. Bienvenida. Okay, teacher. Okay, okay, okay. Well, guys, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. As I told you, let me just check little things here. Then I'll start my lesson plan. According to my plan, how are we doing with time? Okay, it's time for us to jump into the next activity. Okay, well. Today we is the last class for section three. Ahora es la última clase de la sección tres. Tomorrow we start section four, which is the last week. Okay, and it's gonna be interesting. Very interesting for you. Let me just get just get the manual ready. I'm sorry that today was a hectic day for me. I have so many things to do. And sometimes not enough time. Okay. Now let's see where is it? Oh, right here. Well, something that we are going to analyze today is how do we use on, how, when to use in, when to use at, okay? And that's very, something very interesting, okay? because those are prepositions. Prepositions are a word that we place before something, before a word. 
La preposición es en palabras que podemos cumplir otras palabras. Ok, like uh, in, on, at. We have prepositions of time, prepositions of place. We are, tenemos de tiempo, de lugar, and we are going to work with some of them today, tonight. Okay? So I have some material, um, material que me compartió una compañera por ahí. I'm going to share with you. It's very, very interesting. Well, actually, I sent it to you the other day. Creo que se lo envié el otro día. And let's see. Here we go. Okay, let's see. At. At is used to point out specific time. Miren, usamos para specific time. I will meet you at 12 p.m. The bus will stop here at 5.45 p.m. It is used to indicate a place. There is a party at the clubhouse. There were hundreds of people at the park. We saw a baseball game at the stadium. It's used to indicate an email address. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Like you can, you can send me an email at, and then I give you my address. It is used to indicate an activity. He loved at my acting. I am good at drawing a portrait. Now, questions, preguntas? Look, used to point out specific time. Used to indicate a place. Used to indicate an email address. Used to indicate an activity. Teacher. Yep. Una pregunta. Este, yep, sure. El at se utiliza solamente con el comparar tiempo. No, look. Para un momento específico, para un lugar. There is a party at the clubhouse. Hay una fiesta en el club. There were hundreds of people at the park. Hubieron cientos de personas at mm -hmm. the park. Mm -hmm. We saw a baseball game at the stadium. También para indicar la actividad. He loved. Mm -hmm. Él se rió. ¿De qué? De la actividad. Look at my acting. I am good. Yo soy bueno at drawing. Dibujando. You see? Okay, that's it. You're welcome. <laughs> no problem, no problem. Then we have on. On, usually we know that it's used to express a surface of something. I put an egg on the kitchen table. Primero, la superficie de algo. I put an egg on the kitchen table. The paper is on my desk. But in this case, it's used to specify days and dates. Used to specify days and dates. The garbage truck comes on Wednesdays. On Wednesdays. Días específicos y fechas. I was born on the 14th day of June in 1988. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. Now, here Teacher, is something este, very favor. interesting. Yes? Pero, este, le iba a decir eso que si podía volver a repetir la primera parte porque se me está yendo el internet y no le entendí nada. De at? No, de esa que está diciendo ahorita. Okay, used to express a surface. Para explicar la superficie de algo. Como por ejemplo, I put an egg on the kitchen table. Puse un huevo en la mesa de la cocina. The paper is on my, day, on my desk. El papel, el documento, o puede ser el periódico, está en mi escritorio. 
En este caso, long quiere decir sobre. ¿Ok? Sobre. Now, used to specify days and dates. The garbage truck comes on Wednesday. Aquí estoy diciendo un día específico. I was born on the 14th day of June in 1988. Now, here there's something. Okay, let me just answer a question. Uh, uh, um, perfect. Uh, okay. uh, aquí hay un detalle y lo voy a explicar en español para que no sea tan confuso. Ustedes van a escuchar que algunas personas dicen, eh, yo les puedo decir, I was born on the 17th day of December. Yo nací el 17 día de diciembre. Ok, now listen to this. I was born in December 17. Listen to it. I was born in December 17. En este caso estoy usando el in. ¿Por qué? Porque después del in viene el mes. El periodo de tiempo. Con los meses yo utilizo in. Con la fecha específica utilizo el on. Cuando pongo el on, automáticamente tengo que decir el día. ¿Ok? Primero el día, el número del día. Si pongo in, me voy al periodo de tiempo, en este caso el mes. O, por ejemplo, in the weekend. What did you do in the weekend? ¿Qué hizo en el fin de semana? In, un periodo de tiempo. ¿Got it? Ok. Uh, another thing. Perdón, nuevamente en español. Solo una aclaración. Alguien me preguntaba por ahí. Eh, nosotros tenemos de clase toda esta semana y el día lunes. El día lunes nos conectamos y es nuestra última clase, ¿ok? So you're gonna be like, relax, at least for one week, al menos por una semana, week and a half, semana y media. Something like that, we rest and then we start again. Y luego comenzamos de nuevo. I hope everybody connects. Espero que todos se reintegren. I know the very first course is the hardest. Yo sé que el primero es el más duro. Because you need to adapt to the routine. Hay que adaptarnos a la rutina. To adapt to the schedule, a uh, un horario distinto. Uh, to the staying up late. El cansancio de estar más tiempo despierto. But it's worth it. Vale la pena. You will see. I hope, I expect to have you all. Espero tenerlos a todos next well, let's continue. Continuamos. Up to now, there, is there any question? ¿Alguna preguntita? Teacher. No? Teacher. Yep. Hold on, Braulio. Tell me, Angelica. Uh, okay. eh, vaya, entendí yo que, por ejemplo, el link este, se menciona o se dice cuando, con, cuando mencionamos algo no específico. Por ejemplo, la próxima semana, el próximo miércoles. Y el on es cuando ya especificamos de repente la hora o un día. Ok. Give me just a second. Deme solo un segundo. Quiero enviarle algo distinto. Just one second. Just one second, guys. Let me see if I can send it to you, to the group. I don't believe how hard it is to do some things here. Okay. 
Okay, guys. Can you see in the in the WhatsApp? Puede ver en el WhatsApp. I send you an image. Se podemos ver revisamos. I just sent you an image. Me acabo de enviar una imagen. Check it out, please. You got it? ¿Lo tenemos? Ok, now, if you look, when we talk about, uh, right now we are talking about time. Estamos hablando de lugar. In is general, bigger, centuries, decades, years, months, days. In two weeks, in July, May, no meses, years. I was born in 1979. Yo nací en 1979. 1979. You see? On. It's more specific. Okay. On May 7th. On my birthday. On Friday. Okay. Now. Hours. Para horas, we use at. It's very specific. It's the smallest. Es más chiquito. At 7 a.m., at 12 o'clock, at 5 p.m., okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, now, fíjense en algo. Tenemos ahí on, dice May 7, 1964, my birthday. Okay. Ahí estamos siendo específicos porque estamos usando el on porque estamos diciendo la fecha específica. Dice Friday. Como incluimos el día, metimos el on. Ok. Pero en el otro, si usted dice, I was born in December. Yo nací en diciembre. In December. Ok. General. I was born on a Monday. Yo nací un lunes. You see? It's more specific than in. Un poquito más específico que in. That one is going to help you a lot. Let's continue. Okay. It's also used to indicate a device or machine such as a phone or computer. He is on the phone right now. She has been on the computer since this morning. My favorite movie will be on TV tonight. It is used to indicate a part of the body. The stick hit me on my shoulder, on my shoulder. He kissed me on my cheek. I wear a ring on my finger. And un anillo, yo uso un anillo, on my finger. Used to indicate the state of something. El estado de algo. Everything in this store is on sale. Todo en la tienda está en oferta. The building is on fire. El edificio está uh, incendiándose. And then we have in. In is used for unspecific times during the day. Parte del día que no son específicas. Months. Mes, season, uh, estación, year, año. She always reads newspapers in the morning. In the morning, in la mañana. You don't know the specific time. It's just in the morning. Can be 7 a.m., can be 11 a.m. But it is not specific. Okay? In the summer, we have a rainy season for three weeks. In the summer... In el verano, we have a rainy season for three weeks. The new semester will start in March. The new module will start in July. It is also used to indicate a location or place. She looked me directly in the eyes. Ella me vio directamente a los ojos. To indicate a location or place. 
un lugar. Okay. I am currently staying in a hotel. En un hotel. My hometown is Los Angeles, which is in California. Can you say the second again, please? I am currently staying in a hotel. That one? Yes, teacher. Currently, currently. Okay, it's used to express while doing something. In preparing for the final report, we revise the tone three times. Okay, look, in preparing, al prepararse. Está expresando eh, la duración de tiempo mientras se hace algo. A catchphrase needs to be impressive in marketing a product. En el mercadeo de un producto. Used to indicate... Repeat? I'm sorry. Can you repeat that? The, the last one, please. A catchphrase needs to be impressive in marketing a product. Used to indicate a belief, opinion, interest, or feeling. I believe in the next life. Look, I believe in the afterlife. It's the same. Next life or afterlife. We are not interested in gambling. Here is expressing a belief, una creencia, opinion, interest, or feeling, un sentimiento. Used to indicate a shape, color, or size. This painting is mostly in blue. The students stood in a circle. This jacket comes in four different sizes. Now, we have others that are more specific. Hay otras que son más específicas. Next to, inside of, besides, under, on top of, behind, in front of, above, between, among, near, behind, I'm sorry, behind is spice, far from and below. These ones are usually used for places, okay? These are prepositions of place. Now, let's see. I want to lose five kilograms on at in one month. What do you think, guys? In. In. In, perfect. Could you get me these pants? Sorry? In. Perfect, in. Size, size. Remember, we use in for size. She seems to be interested. In, porque es interés. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. I will come to pick you up. At. At. Because we are talking about the specific time, right? This class will be held. Like yeah. On Mondays, because it's the day, the specific day, okay? Now, this one, we're not gonna do it right now. We're gonna do it later. Okay, now we go back to the manual. Vamos al manual. Okay, here we go. How to use prepositions of time. Remember on Saturday, on January 23rd, on Monday, February 5th, on Wednesday morning, in May, in 2018, in the summer, in the morning, at 2.30, at noon, at night, at midnight. Okay, now we have to complete the email using prepositions of time. Compare answers with a classmate. Okay, guys, we are going to work with this. 
it goes like this. From party 2018 at, oh, by the way, this symbol, is a symbol, you pronounce it at, at email.com to Mary, lower dice, to at email.com. Subject, new products presentation. Hello, Farima. Are you busy Monday afternoon? Do you know about the new product that the company launches, Lanza? There's a presentation about it, and it sounds very interesting. It starts 6.30. I work until 5.45, but I can meet you 6 on the corner of First Avenue and Main Street. What do you think? There's another presentation, but it will be March Sunday, and I can that day. Let me know. Bye-bye. Okay, guys, this is the first exercise we're going to do together, okay? Let's see, let's see. Let me just change someone. Perfect groups are created, please. Three minutes, three minutes. Okay, let's go check. Presentation about how it and sounds very there's, interesting. There's a presentation. There's a presentation about, about it. About it and it sounds and very It sounds what? There are about it and it sounds very interesting. In mm -hmm. start, I said at six. At Six, uh -huh. six, zero, zero, zero. Sería at porque está hablando de una hora. Sí, hay por antes. Uh -huh. I can meet you. Okay. Okay. It sounds very. 
Y luego en la otra donde dice a que el mismo ah, sería un nombre de llevar de corno. Quiero ver, I know. En tercera, sí, porque está hablando de ahora. At. Sí. At, en de corno. Cuando es hora es at. Ajá. At. It will be on in March on Sunday. Hay algo así. Bien. On to. But I can meet you. Can meet you at the him over there at mm -hmm. six, six o'clock. Sí. On the corner. The corner of first. The corner. Oh, mm -hmm. mystery. What do you think? There is another presentation. But it will be. But it will be. In some days. In. In his. In. In. No, in, al final. In March. On Sunday. Oh. Uh -huh. Algo así. No, no sé. Pero él dice. Y arriba pusimos. Bueno, pusieron on y estaba hablando de un día. Estaba hablando de un día también. Ajá. Pero dice. Esta. Esta es la prestación, pero estará on, sería, pero estará, yo creo que ahí es in, porque está hablando de una, de un mes en específico, in, March. Year, in March, sería in March, March, in March, ajá. Uh -huh. In March on, on Sunday. Así sería, teacher. I don't know. No. <laughs> I don't know. Don't ask me. I know, no. Me da copia. <laughs> bueno, yo le digo que sí sería in March. Yo opino lo mismo. On Sunday. Okay. También. ¿Verdad que sí? Entiendo yo también. ¿Qué tú yo sí? ¿Qué tú yo sí? Sí, there's another. But it, it will be on the him over there, niña. La primera in, que sí. on March. No, in the him. In March on. On. In sí. March on Sunday. Uh -huh. In March on Sunday. Sunday. And okay. I can. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Bye. Vale, entonces quedó, quedó digamos, así. Escuchen y, y me dicen si, si está bien. Hello, Fatima. Are you, ¿cómo se dice? Busy, ¿eh? ¿verdad? Are you busy on Monday afternoon? Sería la primera, on, dijimos, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Do you know, do you, ¿verdad? Do you know about, about the new product that the company launched? <clears throat> there's a present, uh, Sí, there's a presentation. Ay, no sé cómo se dice eso. 
about it. Um, about. About. Um, and way in in um, um, I, sorry yeah. in a, in a very very interesting in start at the him six and six thirty I work until five five four forty five verdad But I can I can I can meet you at six. Can meet you. At era y otra vez, Ah, yes, at the nuevo. Six. six just, just remember, just remember. Interesting. 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 Like that. Perfect. Interesting. Y cómo se dice present presentation? Así oh, presentation. Yeah, presentation. Ah, presentation. Perfect. Rebecca. Let's see, there's Rebecca, there's everybody's coming back. Okay, guys, before I forget, I'm going to get the attendance, okay? Let me get the second attendance. Ana Maritza Flores Orbellón. Present. Angélica Guadalupe Tobar de Melgar. Present. Braulio Enrique Hernández Sosa. Present, teacher. Brian Alexander Rivas Sánchez. Present, teacher. Claudia Teresa Flamenco. Eliso Saraí Martínez Ramírez. Present. Esmeralda Lisbeth Vázquez Silva. Thank you, Esmeralda. Gabriela Guadalupe Celaya Sayas. Present. Karen de Sire Mengíbar de Sánchez. Catherine Beatriz Morales Calzadilla. Present. Katia Estefanía Pineda Alvarado. Present, teacher. María Teresa González de Lemos. Present, teacher. Marvin Gabriel Romero Cubillas. Milton Antonio García Castellano. Mirna Atenas Vanega Zamora. Present. Rebeca del Carmen Morales Molina. Present, teacher. Víctor Manuel Reyes Carvajal en Xiomara Chamilet, Mendoza, Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Okay, let's do the exercise. Vamos a ver la sesión. Okay, we have here, let's make it a little bit uh, bigger. Okay, are you busy? Okay, guys, you're gonna help me. On Monday. 
on Monday. Are you busy on Monday? Perfect. That's the way it goes. Are you busy on Monday afternoon? Do you know about the new product that the company launches? There's a presentation about it and it sounds very interesting. It starts at, at. Okay. At. Perfect, guys. At. It starts at 6.30. I work until 5.45. But I can meet you. At. at. Perfect. At 6 on the corner of First Avenue and Main Street. What do you think? There is another presentation, but it will be in um, in, um, in, 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 in because it's the month in March. In November. Sunday. In on Sunday. In lo utilizamos para el mes, on para el día. Ok. Para el día. Yes. In March, on Sunday. Ok. And I can't that day. Let me know. Bye bye. I will read it again for you guys. Hello, Farima. Are you busy on Monday afternoon? Do you know about the new product that the company launches? There's a presentation about it. And it sounds very interesting. It starts at 6.30. I work until 5.45, but I can meet you at 6 on the corner of First Avenue and Main Street. What do you think? There's another presentation. But it will be in March on Sunday, and I can't that day. Let me know. Bye-bye. Okay, guys. Let's continue. Now we are going to go jump until exercise number one, vocabulary practice, page number 37. Okay, you need to find out this word. Tell me which is the word here. And the definition, what do they do? Okay. We are working with words from uh, page 37 and 38, okay? So, you need to find out, like this one is, mm, mm, human, okay, I just helped you. So this is the first exercise, let's do this. You're going to have just two minutes for this activity. Dos minutos para esta actividad. That's not fair. Okay, two and a half. Dos y medio, okay? Three. Three, please. Okay, let's do it. No, I'll give you four minutes. It's better because you need to Thank find you. out the word and the definition, okay? But hurry up. A ver, sí, ahí está. Teacher. Okay. Hello. I don't understand. You have to unscramble the words. Tiene que poner en orden las letras para que tomen una palabra. It's vocabulary that we have seen in the manual. Si tiene el manual, está fácil. Usted va a hacer las páginas 37 y 38 y ahí va a encontrar el vocabulario. No. <laughs> No, perdón, hay un error de dedo, es que las páginas ya lo veo atrás.
desde la página 29. Veintinueve, treinta, veintinueve. ¿Y si me mata que el manual? No. Arvin, how are you? <laughs> Quiero ver. No me acuerdo dónde lo mandé. Ah, ya y lo poner en orden las letras. Yes, and the yes, definition. Yes, ¿Y qué es lo que hace esa persona? We did the exercise. Vaya, Marvin, ahí Vaya. Está. Vaya, la número dos es. Number two is. Number two is P U R C H. What? Va a ser la página 29 del manual y verá el vocabulario. Tiene que ponerlas en orden y decirme qué es lo que hace cada una de esas posiciones, de esas personas. Ah, sí. Ese ejercicio ya lo hicimos. Ok. Ok, teacher. Thank you. <laughs> ah, la que unimos. La que unimos, digo. Yep, exactly, exactly. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hombre. Me encontraron. <ríe> yo la tengo ya. Ya, ¿y cómo es? <ríe> ah, no, yo la tengo nada más. <ríe> Compañera, ayúdenme. Y que vaya, ya la tiene la página. Uh -huh. Te las mando. Sí, por favor. Para ver. La 29 dijo, ya. Sí. A ver si 37 y 38 dice. ¿La mando aquí al chat de nosotros? Se podrá. Sí, se puede. Yes, you can, but try to use the English, ladies.
Okay, 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 okay. Let's see the exercise. Number one, what is number one, guys? Production. Production, very well. What is production? What do they do? Control and supervise the production or workplace and inventory. Okay, perfect. What is number two? Purchasing. Purchasing. Okay, what is purchasing? What is the yes. definition? Uh, uh, buy and acquire raw materials, production uh, equipment. Okay, uh, for equipment. Use. Equipment. equipment. Okay. ¿Cómo se dice? Etc. 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 Uh, for the use of the organization. Okay. What is number three? Human resource management. Okay. What is human resource management? What do they do? Recruit, select, and train new employees. For the right employees. Job. Employees for the right job in the company. Okay, excellent, excellent. Okay, now let's see next exercise, guys. We have a lot of exercises tonight. Okay, do you remember that you were Making questions to me the other day. ¿Se acuerdan cómo estuvieron haciendo preguntas? Remember, you were asking me, like, what type of music do you like? Uh, I don't know. You were asking me questions. Me hicieron preguntas. Remember? Yes? And you were using WH questions. Estaban utilizando las WH questions. Now, you are going to ask questions to your partners. Okay? But... You are not going to stop just in the questions. Pero no nos vamos a quedar solo con las preguntas. Okay? <coughs> what are we going to do? Okay. You are going to ask the questions and you are going to write down your partner's answer. Okay? Usted va a hacerle las preguntas a sus compañeros y va a escribir las respuestas. But we need Remember, more than four minutes. Yes, yeah, sure, sure. But remember, in this case, the exercise, in este caso, the exercise, is asking for us to use the WH questions. Which WH questions? These ones. Look at them, please. You're going to use what, when, where, why, wish, who. You see? Those are the questions you are, the WH questions you are going to use. For this exercise, you're going to have 10 minutes. Okay? For this exercise, you're going to have 10 minutes. 15? No, nope. 10 minutes. Oh. And I mean 10 minutes, char. Okay, guys? So let me just check on something. Okay, groups are created. Please jump in. Let's do it. Bye. 
parecer solo yo estoy. No, there's Ana Maritza. Hi, Nia Maritza. Hi, Lick. Vaya, entonces yo hago preguntas y usted las responde. Mi Marisa. Hola, Lick. Hello. Uh, what's your favorite fruit? Um, watermelon. My, my favorite fruit. Her favorite fruit. Her favorite fruit is watermelon. ¿Cómo te dice? Eh, Atenas va a escribir Her favorite food is watermelon When is your birthday? Pepita Porfis eh, When is your birthday? ¿Cuándo es su cumpleaños? Um, May 7. My birthday is May 7. My birthday, happy birthday. My 7. Hey, baby. My my birthday, my seven. Uh -huh. My seven. Mm. Where do you work? Um, I work group of home SASB. Where do you from? Uh -huh. No, esa ya se la pregunté. Ahora vamos por why. Why. Uh -huh. Why? Y ver un asunto con hoy. Mm. 
Why why do you like why do you like English class? La clase o cómo? Yo le entiendo que Gwen se ocupa cuando preguntamos así como cuándo, ya sea de día. Yes, exactly. Yo le tengo que responder. Por eso, mi pregunta es, when do you start to work? ¿Cuándo comienza a trabajar? No. Algo así? no, pero ese cuándo no se refiere al momento, al instante. Quizás usted está queriendo preguntar, what time? Ajá. Entonces, ¿cómo pudiera hacer ahí la pregunta para ocupar Gwen? When do you work? When is your birthday? When is your mom's birthday? When is your dad's birthday? And when did you start in the company? Eso quería saber. Esa, la última. When... <laughs> Did you start in the company? And do you start in the company? Yep. Uh, I start in the company uh, on October. Dice del año pasado. The last October sería, verdad? Yeah. Sí. Yeah. The last October. Over. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí, sí, sí. Vaya. Mm, La otra sería where. Uh -huh. Ay, eso sí me. Ay, a mí me pasa con mucho con las preguntas. Mm, Podría ser donde trabaja. Por esto yo work. Nombre. Where. Uh -huh. Where, sí. where se supone que es acerca de algún lugar, ¿verdad, teacher? Yeah, where do you work, where do you live? Hmm. ¿Cómo sería? Ay, que sí me cuesta con las preguntas, teacher. Ahí sí where me do puede... you live? Where do you work? Ah, pues, where do you live? I live in Isalco. ¿En serio usted está en Isalco? Sí. ¿En la sucursal de Isalco trabaja usted, Luisa? Sí. ¿Y usted? Ah, ah que yo estoy en Merleo. Usted es la cajera de Isalco. <risa> ah, mire qué chiquito es el mundo. Sí, ah, Pero le va bien en Merleo. Ay, Dios. Me cuesta un montón ahorita con la venta, así como está de lenta, pero bueno, lo intentamos. Vaya. Eh, why es por qué, ¿verdad? Sí. Why. Hmm. Ver. Why? Y esa es la que se responde con because, ¿verdad? Yes. Why? 
Ih, ya mau kayak sempet. Gimana? Wai. Terus. Sari. Ya ven que no me alcanzan los 10 minutos que me dio. Lleva time, sap. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Atenas, tell me what information did you get from your classmate? ¿Qué información obtuvo su compañero? Eh, complete. Es decir, pregunta y respuesta. No, just the answers. Um, what is your favorite fruit? The answers, okay. las respuestas, Hans. Just the answers. Ah, okay. Her favorite fruit is watermelon. Okay, who's her? Who's she? ¿De quién hablamos? De ella. Yeah, but who's that person? ¿Quién fue su compañera? Ah, mi amarixa. Okay, the first time, la, la primera vez, sí me va a mencionar el nombre porque los demás no sabían. You are going to tell me. Ana Maritza's favorite food is watermelon. En, y ahora sí va a usar el her. Or no, she, no, 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 depending. No, no. Eh, eh, she birthday is Mesa. Ah, her birthday. Her birthday. Her birthday is May 7. Okay. She worked in Grupo Homie. Um, One more. Eh, como la pregunta era, why, why do you like watermelon? Ella respondió, because it's uh, delicious. Okay. She likes watermelon because it's delicious. She Repeat after me. Yes. She likes watermelon. She likes watermelon. Because it is delicious. Because it's delicious. Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Excellent, Continue. excellent. No, it, that's okay, that's okay. Now, Angelica, tell me about your partner. Este, uh, Marvin. 
Okay. Which, which one is your dog? And Marvin has a, net, a dog um, named algo así. Piri, oh. Piri, Piri, Pingo, algo así. Okay. Something else? Algo más? No. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Um, Rebecca, tell me about your partner, please. Teacher, no comments. Yes. What you got? Look at Number one. Um, what did you say? Uh -huh. um, he's Brian. He he's Brian work. Or oh, Brian, he is work. Brian works. Brian works. When is your vacation? Brian out. When is your vacation? In August. In August. August. Perfect. Thank you. Now let's see. Uh, Maria Teresa, your turn. Hello, teacher. Hello. Uh, yo estuve sola en la sala, teacher. No sé qué se hizo mi compañera. Ok, María Teresa. Yo solo hice... Um, Then ask me, please. Pregúnteme. Ok. What do you like most about your job? Ooh, interacting with people. It's something that I do enjoy a lot. Ok. When, when, will, when will you rest? Well, oh, sometimes on Sundays. Okay. Where will you go on, on vacation? Hmm. On vacation. Let's see. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It will depend on the economy, you know, because I wanted to go to Costa Rica, but I'm not sure I'm going to make it. Mm, okay. Ahí puse, why do you want to learn English? Oh, because I enjoy English. I always want to learn more and more vocabulary. It's something nice for me. And it's good for my job. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so that's more? That's okay, <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. Excellent. Gabriela, your turn. Tell me. Um, what is your favorite? Uh, no. Okay, just tell me the answer. The answers. Hey, okay, hey. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Lisa's favorite food is beans with rice. Okay. Uh, otra sería, she starts in the company the last October. Okay, excellent. Y por último sería, she lives in Isalco. Perfect. Great. Y no terminamos la última. That's fine, that's fine, that's okay. Aunque sea la Now let's que... see. Brian, what about you? Brian? Okay, let's see, uh, Marvin, what you got? Hello. Hello, mister, what you got for me? Tell me. Bueno, pues la pregunta que le hice a la compañera Catherine. Where you, where you, is your favorite band? Okay. And the answer, her answer. 
con her answer her answer Catherine Sibel no desde el momento que digo her answer estoy diciendo su respuesta de ella ya no necesito ah, decir nada. ok my favorite band is in this moment Ah, uh, what is her favorite band? ¿Cuál es su banda favorita? In this moment. I'm sorry, what's the name? ¿Cómo se llama la banda? In this moment. In this moment. Mm, never heard of it. Okay, next question. Siguiente pregunta. Where do you work? Ah. Uh -huh. And her answer? I work in the pharmacy of life. Perfect. Next question. Otra pregunta. Yes. Quiero ver, me dijo. What do you like? Favorite? No. What do you like favorite fruit? fruit? ¿Cuál es su fruta? What is your favorite fruit? I a great. What is? What is your favorite fruit? My favorite fruits. Apple, manzana, no sé si. Yeah, apple. Apple, okay. Apple, solo esa. Okay, nice, nice. Thank you. Okay, now I got uh, a couple of questions for you, okay? Ahora le voy a dar four questions. From these four questions, you are just going to ask two to your partner. Escogen dos para preguntarse a su compañero. The questions are, what is your hobby? How long have you had a hobby? Durante cuánto tiempo tenido un hobby? Why do people have hobbies? ¿Por qué las personas tienen hobbies? Why did you start your hobby? Okay? So everything depends on the first one. Todo depende de la primera. That one is mandatory for everyone. Eso es obligatorio para todos. Okay? You're going to ask and answer your classmates. And then you're going to choose which of the other ones you're going to ask. Y luego escogen cuál es la siguiente que van a preguntar. Okay? So, I'm going to send you to the groups. Groups are open. Please jump in. Hurry up. Hello, teacher. Esmeralda, solo por chat. En el, ok, en el, no problem. El... Ok, no Hola, problem. Chat. Ask her the questions. Okay. Hágale las preguntas and she answers on the chat. Ok, teacher. Thank you. Teacher, ¿las mismas preguntas o son otras? Las que les envié al chat. Son las de Wamble. Ah, okay. What is your hobby? Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, oh, my favorite, my favorite hobby, Esmeralda, my favorite hobby is to listen to music. Okay. 
Digamos, si le pregunto a usted por mí, ah. entonces, digamos, sí. Sí, ah. ¿El suyo cuál es? Ah, va a ir. Quiero ver, espérame. Why do, why do people have hobbies? Es, ¿Por qué las personas necesitan un, un pasatiempo? Oh, because it's fun. La última no le no le hay no no le entiendo. Uh -huh. Okay, the last one. Why, why did you why start did your you hobby? Start to hobby? Uh -huh. ah, porque porque start es empezar, ¿verdad? Yeah, ask me. Pregúnteme las dos preguntas. The why did you start last. your hobby? Oh, why? Or when? Why? 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 Oh. Because, well, in my case, the reason is not uh, that big. It's because, I mean, at the time I had, I had the time and I needed something to, to escape from everything all around me. Okay? Necesitaba la razón, el por, la razón del yes, porqué. Yes, exactly, exactly. Okay. Okay. Bye, so, real. what is your hobby, Karen? My ho my favorite hobby. Uh, bueno, son dos. Watch the movies. Watch 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 to the movies and watch, swimming. Watching movies and swimming. Watching oh my god. And swimming. Oh, nice hobbies. I like them. Yes. Oh. Sorry, voy entrando en mis perritos. What about you, Maria Teresa? What are your hobbies? Um, my favorite hobby is um, ¿Cómo se dice salir? Going out. Going out. Going out. Yeah. Salir. Going out. Um, a comprar. Comprar. Oh, I hacer like. You like go shopping. Ajá. Hola. Ah, Hola. Going shopping. That's what you like. <laughs> Qué chivo. Eso se desestresa también. <laughs> eh, teacher, number two. Okay, number two. How long have you had a hobby? ¿Durante cuánto tiempo ha tenido ese hobby? For two ah, years, okay. for 11 years, for forever, mm. for siempre. Forever. Okay. And you, Tere. No alcancé a notar la respuesta de la compañera. 
that's a problem. A huge problem. <laughs> nah, that's not a problem. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. So, Atenas, what's your hobby? My hobby is walk in the park. Her, oh, yeah. Don't share your hobby with me. No? That's not going to be good. Thank you. Let's see. Let's see. Angelica, what's your hobby? Oh, my hobby is uh, going off with my daughter. Okay, nice. Yes. Now let's see, Karen, what's your hobby? Okay. Catherine, what's your hobby? Tell me. Um, what movie? Watching movies. Nice. Watching movies. Perfect. Thank you. Marvin, what's your hobby? My favorite hobby is to go volcano climbing. Okay. Volcano climbing. Oh. No good for me either. Let's see, let's see. Braulio, what's your hobby? Uh, my hobby is what the movie. Okay. Excellent. And let's see. Uh, 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 mm. Sumara, what's your hobby? I, I go. I have watched watch movies. Okay, watching movies. Wow, a lot of people like watching movies. Excellent, excellent. And Rebecca, what about you? Tell me to What's your favorite? What's your hobby? The prison has Sleep. Second is listen in, in music. Okay, sleeping. That's an interesting hobby. <laughs> no comments, no comments. I didn't say nothing, okay? <laughs> yeah, I didn't say nothing, okay? Thank you very much. Okay, guys, it was a very nice class. Remember, tomorrow we start lesson uh, number four, okay? So I expect to have you, all of you, as today, early on time. Let me get the attendance. Ana Maritza Flores de Cervellón. Present. Angelica Guadalupe Tobar de Melgar. Present. Braulio Enrique Hernández Susan. Present teacher. Brian Alexander Riva Sanchez. Claudia Teresa Flamenco. Elisa Saraí Martínez Ramírez. Present. Esmeralda Lisbeth Vázquez Silva. Gabriela Guadalupe Salaya Salas. Thank you, Esmeralda. Present. Karen Desiree Menquivar de Sánchez. Present. Catherine Beatriz Morales Calzadilla. Present, teacher. Katia Estefanía Pineda Alvarado. Present, teacher. María Teresa González de Lemos. Present. Marvin Gabriel Romero Cubillas. Present, teacher. Milton Antonio García Castellano, Milna Atenas Vanega Zamora, Present. Rebeca del Carmen Morales Molina, Present. Víctor Manuel Reyes Carvajal, 
and Xiomara Shamilet Mendoza Mendoza. Present teachers. Okay, guys. Well, a very good and interesting class. Nice having you here tonight. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Be on time. Bye. Good night. Atenas, Atenas, Wait a second. Wait a second. Okay. Good night. Have a good night. Good night. Bye. See you. Bye, teacher. Bye. Take care. Okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see. There's something that I want to share with you. I'll go to the compact here. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Are you working on your computer? Is that a computer or in your cell phone? Mm, my cell phone. Okay. Entonces necesito un mensaje suyo porque no sé si tengo su nombre. No me lo sé. Entonces. Oye, Atenas Bonegas, right? Sí. Okay, there you go. Okay, there. What are you going to find? ¿Qué va a encontrar ahí? You're going to find videos. Okay. Okay. Usted le va a dar clic donde dice see video activity. Ahora bien, cuando dice movie clips, usted tiene videos from A to C, de la A a la C, from D to H, o sea, en orden alfabético. Mm -hmm. You're going to the click on video, ok, luego tiene las instructions, you're going to listen to the video, watch the video, and then you are going to answer the questions, luego va a contestar las preguntas, you just click in on them, solo partamos, ok, Tapping, en este caso, and at the end, y al final, donde dice video script, es el texto del video. Ok. Ok. That is going to help you to improve on your listening and reading skills. Eso le va a ayudar en su listening y reading. Ok. Ok. Now, I advise you one at a time, uno a la vez. Ok. Not more than one. Because it's very important for you to identify new vocabulary. Es muy importante que identifique el vocabulario nuevo. Got it? Okay. Is there anything else would you like me to, to perhaps give you a tip or something? I con la que le gustaría que le ayudara. Mm, creo que no, teacher. Por el momento okay. estoy bien. Okay. Now. Uh, check out this material I just gave you. I know it's going to help you. And if not, let me know. Revisa este material. Yo sé que le va a servir. Y si no, me avisa. Okay. I got more material that I could share with you, okay? Tengo más por ahí para compartirle. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good night. Gracias, igual, teacher. Good night. Rest.
Thank you. 